what is the difference between Shiva and Buddha is not an appropriate question. Which aspect of Shiva did Buddha explore? He explored the path of awareness, which is one aspect. It's very unidimensional, but the significance of Gautam Buddha is he is very scientific, clinical. He appeals to the logical mind. But he is like. He also sat like this. Many times he was an ascetic, he just sat unmoving. But many times he was a mad, dancing, drunk. He was in all kinds of states because he didn't limit himself to any particular dimension. He just explored every aspect of life. But unfortunately, I am always strongly feeling about this. This is one being who has not been sufficiently acknowledged for the work that he has done, not as a god, for the work that he has done, for the knowledge that he spread, for the capability and empowerment that he did to humanity, the work that he did on human consciousness, for that he has not been sufficiently acknowledged. That's one of my wishes that uh, in the next hundred years, this one being must find more acknowledgement because what he has done, no other being has done on this planet, no other. I have enjoyed being his partner <laughs> and I know the depth and the dimension of his work and he has not found even a a fragment of acknowledgement that he deserves. Just saying somebody is a god is not good. As a being, what work he has done, he needs to be acknowledged for that. Generally it's believed this is somewhere forty to sixty thousand years ago that he started his work. But after sixty thousand years or forty thousand years, it is still alive, you can't kill it. You still can't kill it, isn't it? By the time I am done with my life, I'm sure I will leave him little more popular than the way he is today. <laughs>